the loss of a pet is more than just the loss of an animal. It's also the loss of a friend and companion. It can be difficult to cope after the death of a cat, dog, or any other pet you owned and cared for. You will likely experience the stages of grief and need to lean on the support of family and friends to help you move forward. You may also want to pay tribute to the memory of your pet as a way to process your emotions and honor your dearly departed pet. Before we start, make sure to subscribe. Tap the bell to get notified about all new videos. Be aware that everyone experiences grief in different ways. Grief is an intense process and often happens gradually. Everyone processes grief differently and there is no normal time frame from grieving, so you may feel better after several weeks, months, or even after a year. Be patient and allow yourself to experience grief for your pet, as this is an important way to process the death of your pet. Though you may try to ignore the pain, this will likely only make it worse. Rather than bottle up your feelings and emotions, it can be more useful to allow yourself to go through the stages of grief and heal over time. Try to avoid feeling guilty for the death of your pet. Once the initial stages of grief is feeling guilt and responsibility for the death of your pet. Try to avoid asking what ifs and thinking about if only. This will only make you feel worse and make it more difficult to move past your grief. Take the time to remind yourself that you are not responsible for the death of your pet and that the death of your pet was out of your control. If you believe in a higher power, you may pray on your pet's death and talk to the higher power as a way to work through your feelings of guilt. Releasing your anger in a healthy way may mean leaning on the support of your family and friends or focusing on self-care. Where do you do activities that make you feel good, like hiking outdoors, doing a creative project, or socializing with good friends? Think of activities that can help you to release your anger in a way that feels useful and healthy, rather than destructive and painful. Let yourself feel sad, but fight off depression. A natural symptom of grief is feelings of depression, which can leave you feeling powerless to cope with your emotions. While it is healthy and important that you let yourself feel sad about the death of your pet, feeling depressed can cause you to feel worn out, lonely, and isolated. Arrange a funeral or a memorial service for your pet. The ritual of a funeral or a memorial service can be a healthy way to grieve and process your emotions. This could be a small service honoring your pet's life or a more elaborate affair. Though some people may consider it inappropriate to have a funeral for a pet, you should do what feels good to you as the pet owner and take the necessary steps to release your grief. Create a physical reminder of your pet this could be planting a tree in memory, creating a photo album of your pet, or commissioning a physical gravestone, having a physical legacy of your pet, and move on in your grief. Donate to an animal charity in memory of your pet. You may want to pay tribute to your animal companion by donating your money or time to an animal charity in its name. This will allow you to give back to the community and help other pet owners to take care of their pets. It also creates a tribute to your pet that focuses on caring for others and supporting others, a positive legacy you can feel proud of. Take care of any other pets in your household. Though it may be difficult to focus on the needs of your other pets after the death of a pet, you should try to devote yourself to providing good care to any other animals in your home. Your other pets will likely also be mourning the loss of a fellow pet, especially if they all live together in close quarters. Focusing on the needs of your other pets can help you to move forward and cope with your loss. It can also be a way to honor your deceased pet by ensuring all your other pets receive love and care. Consider getting a new pet. 
Another way to cope and pay tribute to your pet is to perhaps get a new one. Rather than see the new pet as a replacement for your deceased pet, think of the new pet as a new chapter in pet ownership. A new pet will allow you to love and care for an animal and move forward from the death of a pet. Some pet owners may feel they cannot get a new pet because it would be disloyal to their deceased pet. It may take time after the death of your pet to consider getting a new one. But a new one may be a healthy way to move through your feelings of grief and feel better about coming home to a pet-filled house again. Watch next, the myths of owning a bird, or the difference between the terms budgie and parakeet 